Um, at the moment, I'm acting as your senior returning officer, so I let, I've organised your elections. Uh, and this year, I've um, started a Facebook page, which hopefully most of you have seen, to advertise the elections and get the turnout up. And I'm also the senior intro week rep, so I managed all the preps and freshers week, and I'm doing the same for the open days this year. Um, I'm president of Castle Choir, uh, and I'm secretary of the Drama Society, so I'm involved in classes as many ways as I possibly can be without getting involved in sports, which stresses me out. So um, I feel like these things have given me experience and equipped me to do uh, the role of Livers Out Rep, uh, mainly in organisation, organising lots of different things, lots of different people, diplomacy, trying not to insult people when I'm organising them, uh, and, uh, general like peer management, I feel like I've done these roles and I've got the experience and I've worked within the JCR and learned how it works. So the Livers Out Rep moved last year um, as part of a motion from as part of a Repcom uh, to an exec member, so it's been given a raised prominence um, as an exec member and it, it shows the need to support our Livers Out and what their needs are within cuts. Um, and I see the role, uh, well the role and the thing, as dividing into three sections, which are the current livers out, the potential livers out, i.e. this year's freshers, and the community and the wider Durham community. So there's lots of things I want to do. Uh, on the current livers out, I want to be an approachable point of contact for current livers out. So if they've got any problems, they can come to me and say, look, we're having issues with this, or housing, house moves, whatever, and I can talk to whoever needs to be done, and we can do something about it quickly without too much fuss. Um, I want to get livers out back into college. I'm sure any second year who's here, or third year who can tell you that they miss coming to formals, they miss being in college, being in the bar, and a lot of the time it's partly because of formal tickets. They're not that easily accessible. If you're busy in the day, you have to email at 12 o'clock, and that's easier for some people than others. I want to work with college to try and rework the formal ticketing system and give it back to the JCR. I don't know how possible that is, but I want to try. So that if we have control over it, we can start doing things like balloting them, as the Winter Ball did, balloting them to first, second and third years so we get a real spread of livers out, rather than it being dominated by freshers who are more able to get tickets. Um, Surge this year has started a database for all the houses so that cuts people can start passing cuts houses down to people. I want to keep doing that. I want to get more people involved in it, more people putting their houses on it. So put forms for it in the JCR, put forms in the bar, wherever the livers out are going to be, email it out to them, put it on Facebook. I genuinely believe Facebook is the best way to get to anyone because everyone's on it all the time. Well, I am, anyway. Um, so yeah, get those forms out so more people are joining that database so it's a useful resource. Local students who live out are also one of the slightly neglected areas of the JCR, I believe, and I think straight from Freshers Week they need to be involved, they need to be invited to the Freshers Week, directly encouraged to come to the Freshers Week events, meet people in college, meet people who live in, so they can build relationships so they still feel like they're part of the JCR. Uh, finally, college parents, I think college parents is a brilliant system, it's working really well. I want to hold more events through the year so that the parents meet their kids like once a term, twice a term, so they keep that relationship up so it's not just on the parents to like organise something all the time, because I know that's happened to me. Potential livers out, so freshers who are looking to live out, I want to hold a meeting earlier in the term so that all the clear all the problems that might come up are made more clear to them soon. So they're they're equipped to know whether they want to live in or live out, so it's not assumed that they have to live out so we get people living in as well. Um, I would use my position on the DSU Livers Out Committee, which the Livers Out rep sits on to combat early lease signing. I don't know, I know a lot of people have now signed their leases and they sign them in October and it can be combated, it, it can be a problem. And if we work with the DSU and do it with all the colleges, because it's a Durham-wide problem, as soon as one college starts signing, everyone else does it. And if we can work together with the DSU, we can hopefully solve it and start signing leases a bit later. I want to run meet, meet to housemates events like Serge has done. I'd like to do them earlier so no one reaches any desperation <coughs> about when they're going to live or who they're going to live with. So it's done as a kind of early, chilled thing. That's good. Um, DSU, oh yeah, the DSU holds a really good lease checking service and a lot of people don't employ it because it seems to be quite a faff. You have to take it down there, you're not sure how long it's going to take. Your landlord's putting pressure on you to sign right now, otherwise the house is going to go. I want to organise an event where we just say, look, anyone who's got a lease that needs checking, we'll meet up in the bar, we'll walk up to the DSU together and we'll get it signed, we'll get it checked and we'll get it signed so it's done. But at least more people are getting them checked so there's less dodgy landlords around. Finally, the local community doesn't quite come under Livers Out, but I think it's still really important to cuts and important to our reputation within Durham and, and the university. I want to work with Phil Rain, who's the um, Durham University liaison police officer, 
uh, to talk about what any issues that are going on within the community, if he knows that there are any CAS students who are making problems, or we can talk about that, and it can be approached by someone, a student, like a JCR member saying to them, look, you know, this isn't okay, rather than having a policeman come to the door and say, stop making noise. Um, there's a boarding school in the Bailey who make regular noise complaints, and I want to, like, combat that quite quickly and try and sort that out, because it's not really a good relationship on either side. Finally, um, the SCA, the Student Community, Student Community Action, and DUCK, are both also to do with the local community and I'd like to see the Livers Out Rep be a bit more involved with those two, maybe have timely meetings with them, sort out what they're doing, see what they're up to and try and build a positive relationship so that the JCR can promote their events, they can promote the JCR and we have a better relationship with them because they are JCR elected positions but at the moment they're not very involved in the Council JCR. <coughs> that's what I want to do, that's why I'd be good, thanks very much. Any questions at all? Um, huh? um, do you not think that telling people to sign their leases later is a bit problematic in that you know, we left it till after Christmas and now we don't have a house? Yeah, I agree with you completely. That problem can only be solved by working with the entire GSU and getting every college telling their candidate no. <laughs> their students that and it's going to be a long process it's not going to happen next year but if we can make it later and later slowly and everyone does the same thing like they do in Leeds no one signs it until January in Leeds and it's not a problem and the reason you encounter what you encounter is because no one else listens to that advice and no other colleges so if we can work with the DSE Livers Outcome I believe that we can do it slowly. Why is it a bad thing for people to sign on the ID? Because when you come to Durham, in, it's the 1st of October, and you sign a lease, say, 1st of November, middle of November, you've known those people for six weeks. I know that the people that I made friends with in Freshers Week, I'm now not that good friends with some of them. I wouldn't want to live with them. And I believe that, I don't know if anyone else agrees, but I believe that signing a lease six weeks after you get to university doesn't give you enough time to get to know the people, doesn't really give you enough time to talk to people and find out who are the good letting agents, who, whether it's better to go with a private landlord or a letting agent. I know this year I ended up with a letting agent who were pretty rubbish and I, if I talked to a few people before I signed I might have known that. So I think that's why, in my opinion, early lease signing needs to be. Yeah. Um, so, Brooke, sorry, can I just sorry, take your name for a minute? Nathaniel Zacharias. Um, do you not feel that if by forcing people to sign later, like for example the first time, that you would then get a very big rush of everyone then trying to sign for the same house at the same time? And you would get that pressure all coming in one go, as opposed to when it's a more spread out system and letting people do it off their own back. Like, of course, there's a problem to sign with people you don't want to sign with, necessarily, or that you don't know that well. But at least it means you can do the research yourself and not necessarily have the pressure of the other people. Yeah, I agree. I think the, I think the rush that you're talking about actually still happens, probably not quite as much, but still, when you hear that someone in Cuffs has signed a house, it tends to be about a week or a week and a half that everyone goes out the house hunting. Like I had people knocking on our doors for like a week and a half solidly and then it stopped. So the same rush happens, but I'd like it to happen later. Uh, and secondly, well, what, sorry, what was the second part of your, well, that you, yeah. That's, I, I think the rush still happens and I think happening later just gives you more chance to think it through and <coughs> less pulling out and less hassle. Any other questions? Uh, you mentioned trying to s delay the rush to a later point and then also trying to start your final housemate events earlier. Where does the medium come in? When when can you okay, get this well, done? I see your point. That's probably a good point. I think the meet a housemate thing coming in earlier was a result of like if you can't find someone to live in your, if you've got four and you want to find an extra fifth or you're on your own, the desperation starts coming because you're like, who am I going to live with? And I believe if you do it earlier, you can find a house, like a group of housemates, and then later on find a house. So if the houses aren't released on StudentPad until the 31st of December, for example, no one's going to be looking at houses, but they're going to be more finding a group of housemates and going, does this work as a, as a dynamic? Can we make this work as a house? And making a group decision about the house rather than going, we found a space that we really, really like. We need an extra two people. And that's where you get problems with, I believe, with, with housemates not getting on. Any more questions? Can I rephrase that question? It's not very well telling people to wait a bit. But as we've seen, the past doesn't necessarily work. So I don't kind of understand the medium sort of method that you're using. Because it seems like it's 
Well, there's one thing is that the studentpad.co.uk, which is the website that's sort of owned partly by DSU and partly by the university itself, and so it's run by them. So if they don't release houses on their website until, for example, the 31st of December, very few people are going to do anything. Because that means actually phoning up landlords and going, can we look at the house? And it, until it starts getting mentioned, it's kind of almost like a social network thing. As soon as people start talking about it, it's a problem. So if it doesn't go off online and there's no houses to look at, I think, as I said before, it's a gradual process. It's not going to happen in the next year, but it may happen in the next five if we can push it out across the US. No questions? No? Okay. Thank you very much, Mr.